So over the past couple weeks, I've been waking up at 4.30, 4.45 every morning to try and see if it helps my productivity, if it helps my mind, my body in a way that I've never felt before. And I can honestly say these last two weeks have been a game changer in the way I perceive life, in the way that my happiness uh, flows, in the way that my anxiety is, the way that I have so much less anxiety because I'm so much more capable of handling the day because I am mentally and physically preparing my body and my mind for the day ahead of me. So in this morning routine, I basically start out by waking up at 4.30, 4.45, and I give myself the 15 minutes to just get dressed, get my clothes on, get water in my system, and, and just to wake up a little bit, get my coffee if I need to. If it's really, really, if it's a really, really bad day, I'll, I'll, I'll drink a couple cups of coffee and I'll instantly go work out. And that's what I've been doing that I haven't been doing as much is intensely working out in the morning and getting the hardest part of the day over with right when I wake up. And that is an intense high interval training workout with cardio. I'll spend about 30 to an hour in the gym, 30 minutes to an hour in the gym of just cardio and, and a couple like different exercises of key lifts. And then I'll come back home, I'll eat breakfast or a protein shake, get food in my system so I can recover faster. And then I'll start the intense part of the morning routine, which is journaling uh, in my prayer journal, journaling the five minute journal that I've talked about so many times with you guys uh, by Tim Ferriss, uh, that there's this five minute journal that you can do to set your day up for success by writing down goals, writing down things that you want to accomplish, things that you want to happen and giving yourself motivational quotes to get you through the day. This five minute journal has changed my life and it takes five minutes every single day and it's become such a habit in my life that now when I wake up, I automatically do it and I automatically start thinking about the goals and the things that I want to accomplish. And it's changed my life because my mind is already, when I wake up, it's set on, okay, we gotta get stuff done today. We're gonna get shit done and let's do it here's what we got to do boom 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 and I knock them out for the rest of the day so it helps get your mind in the right frame of what you want to accomplish and helps you accomplish those goals in a, in a shorter time length than it would if you hadn't thought about them every single day when you wake up and when you go to bed for that matter so after that I really focus on meditating and giving myself a solid 15 minutes. Now I didn't start out with 15 minutes, I started out around 7 to 9 minutes is when my body would naturally just lose focus and lose its state of mind when I was in that calm state and then it would just, it would wake up after 7 to 9 minutes and I've worked up to around 15 to 20 minutes, 20 minutes on a good day and when I do that Oh man, I cannot tell you. After working out and your and your heart rate is pumping, the blood is pumping, and you're breathing really, really uh, fully, then you start to meditate. Your body goes into this totally stress relief relaxation mode that is so that is such a relaxing feeling and helps calm you down and gives your mind a time to breathe and it gives your body a time to rest after an intense workout. So when I meditate, I'll usually meditate for about 15 to 20 minutes like I said, and I'll do this with the app called Calm. It's something that you guys can check out. It's extremely, extremely helpful. Um, they have a ton of different meditation music sounds that you can listen to when you're meditating, and they also have guided meditations that you can listen to. So that's. That's number number one when I recommend for meditating and meditation apps. After I meditate, I will then shower, get ready, but as I'm showering and as I'm getting ready, I, I put in my earphones and I, I, I put pump up music on like as if I'm going to work out again because I'm getting pumped up for the day and getting ready to conquer the day. And you have to, you have to look at the day as if it's the beast in front of you that you're trying to fight throughout that day for success. For a successful day, you need to fight that beast every single day. And in order to fight, you need to get pumped up and you need to mentally and physically prepare your body to fight so that you can face whatever challenges that that beast, the day, is gonna throw at you. So, 
when I listen to pump up music, I'll I'll get in my own head. I won't talk to anyone. And, and mind you, at this point, if you've woken up at 4:30, 4:45, 5 o'clock, it's only about 6:20, 6:30 at this point, and and you're pretty much awake before anyone else is, which gives you time to really focus on getting pumped up, getting energized, and getting ready for that day. So when I listen to pump up music. I zone out, I get in my zone, I do my thing in the shower, I get dressed, I get ready for the day, and by the time I have my morning coffee again for the actual day, um, and by the time I get to work, I'm set, I'm solid. I'm ready to conquer whatever day. I've prepared my mind, I've prepared my emotions, I've prepared my body physically, and I am ready to go for the day. So I really highly recommend that you guys Try this morning routine, try what works for you. I'm not saying that my way is best, I'm just saying this is what has worked for me over the past couple weeks versus what I've been trying over the past few years. And I'm always changing it up, always switching things up just to see what uh, could work and what doesn't work, what's working now versus what worked later, I mean in the past. Um, so it's all about an experiment. You just gotta see what works for you and if you're feeling different one day than you are the other maybe you meditate for longer one day and you work out less the other like it all depends on on how you're feeling that day so you have to adjust to the circumstances of how your body's feeling how your mind is feeling and what the day presents and what the day is going to present to you during during that 24 hours so I highly recommend you guys get yourself a morning routine, type it out, tape it on your wall so you can see it every day. When you wake up, first thing you do, read that list, go over each step on the morning routine and then hammer it out and notice that your day is going to flow so much easier. You're going to get through the day with ease just because you've planned it out, you've mapped it out and you are preparing your body and your mind for the best possible outcome on how to handle the day. And that's what's gonna help your anxiety and your depression. So I highly recommend you guys try it out and I will see you next week.